Hey everyone, welcome back, Crown Geek here. So today in this video, I will be sharing 10 programs that you should never install on your computer. Now there are a few applications you should definitely think twice about installing. And I'm talking about applications that have reached end of their life and are no longer supported. And in fact, they can actually cause more harm than good. And if you have any of these installation is still running on your system or some application that you feel it's benefiting you, it's time to uninstall them right now. Now a quick disclaimer, I'm not against any legit developer or a company. I'm just trying to educate that how this software can harm you. All right, so without any further delay, let's quickly get it started. So number 10, I will start with the operating system. And if you are a Windows user, never downgrade to operating system like Windows 7 or 8.1 for which the support has been already ended. They have no further security update to protect you. For Windows 7, the support ended in January 2020 and 8.1 on January 2023. You can still downgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 11, but not lower than that. Now, the reason why I'm putting this on the very top, because I have seen many people asking me, even in the comment section, that they want to enjoy Windows 7 right now as well. Now, if you're using it just for the testing purpose, that's fine. But if you want to use as the primary device, I will never recommend you to use any old operating system for which the support has been ended. All right. So as of now, you can continue with Windows 11 or even you can continue with Windows 10, not lower than that. All right. Now, number nine, we have the Zoom. Yes. Now, many of you will be shocked. But yes, Zoom is really not recommended by me and even by many people. Now, let me give you some references. And before that, let me tell you that Zoom is an application used for the personal or professional video conferencing, video calling. So almost many people use it. But in 2019, there were many bugs reported that they gave the webcam access to the hacker. And if there are such things installed, it's very difficult for the normal users like us to delete it. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to happen with all the user, but randomly it can be anyone. And once if anything goes wrong, it's really hard to delete it. It's really hard to get rid of it. And even if you read the Zoom policy, you will know that Zoom collect many of your activity and collect many of your information. So it's my recommendation, even many people recommend that kindly ignore these kind of application like Zoom or any other video calling software. You can use it online. Don't give any kind of permission. Try to use on your secondary device, not on the primary device. Okay, and now number eight, we have the antivirus like McAfee, Kaspersky, Norton, or Avast. Now, I've already created a video on this topic. Before that, there is no need to buy an antivirus for your Windows as you have already Windows security on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 that is giving you the enough protection, especially on Windows 11. Now, I understand that the third party antivirus may give you a bit more security, but they also have some risk and drawback. For example, they occupy the more resources on your device and that can basically slow down the performance of your PC, laptop, especially if you're using the low end devices. And even there is a lot of risk using them as recently you may have seen with the Kaspersky that many user data were leaked and compromised and US government already banned this antivirus. And earlier the same happened with the Avast antivirus for which many security breaches were found and many people, many uh, companies reported against them, many users' information were leaked. A part of this, you keep getting fake pop-up and advertisement and call from these kind of antivirus and even many people get scammed. So it's better that kindly go ahead and ignore these kind of antivirus because you already have the good protection on Windows 11 uh, with the Windows security. But in case if you have such kind of requirement where you need these kind of antivirus and you know how basically you have to use it, how you have to keep yourself secure, then you can continue. For the normal user, I won't recommend you to go with these kind of antivirus. No need to spend any money. Kindly enjoy the free security offered by Windows. All right, and now next we have the password manager, like the last pass. So you need a password manager, no ifs, and or but about it, but which one should you trust? Definitely not last pass. Once a top pick, now it's a hard pass. Why? Let me break it down for you. Last pass is a popular password manager, but I strongly advised against using it on your computer. LastPass has more security fumble than a drunk juggler. 
In August 2022, they got hacked and copies of customer vault data were stolen. And you can read all these information in detail. I will be leaving this blog link in the description. Go through it and you will get to know that why I'm not recommending you to use this kind of password manager. And in a surprise twist, absolutely no one saw coming. LastPass got hacked again in December. Yes, same year. And you can see here LastPass hacked for the second time in six months. The free password manager has already been hacked twice in 2022 and executives don't know what customer info was being stolen. So even their customer support, they didn't know, their technical team didn't know that, what all the information was being stolen and absolutely whoever is stolen this information that contained all your password that you have used for accessing any kind of website or accessing any kind of application. And there can be nothing more dangerous than this. And this is the reason I'm recommending you that kindly avoid using these kind of password manager. All right, and now let's move to the next category that is the registry cleaner. So the program like CCleaner, JetClean or any other claim to magically boost your PC performance by cleaning the registry. Now the truth is registry cleaner are unnecessary at best and harmful at worst. Microsoft itself advised against using them. Why? Let me tell you. Because messing with the registry can seriously screw things up if you don't know what you are doing. One wrong move and you can accidentally delete a critical entry and so on. You won't be able to enjoy your operating system properly or probably you will have a lot of glitches and problem on your operating system. And so I want to recommend you to clean your registry and so avoid using such kind of software to clean the registry. You can manually delete all kind of junk file, any kind of file that is occupying the space, any kind of temporary file, any kind of Windows update cleaner file, all kind of cache. You can easily delete them manually by using the Windows tool only. All right, so better avoid this kind of third party application for cleaning your registry. OK, and now let's move to the next category that is the unreliable VPN. Now VPN are mostly used for bypassing the geo blocking accessing region, log content, and even important for security, especially when using the public Wi-Fi. So yes, VPN are really important, but be careful and don't trust all the VPN available in the market, especially the free one. Now, many popular options that had major security breaches and data leaks that they tried to hide, better make a proper research before using any VPN. And I have also created a video on this topic that which are the best and the safest VPN that you can use in 2024 or 2025. So if you're really looking for a good VPN that should be safe and free, then check that video. The link will be in the description. Now the next is old and the unreliable browser. So there are many outdated browser like Internet Explorer and I have seen people using it still in 2024. Now such browser are officially dead and you are really in risk if you continue using such kind of browser that are outdated or for which the support has been ended. Now I'm giving you an example of Internet Explorer, but this can be many other browser for which you're not getting any kind of update. Or if you're using any browser that is really outdated and you have not updated from a long time, then also there is a lot of risk. So make sure that you do not use any outdated browser for which the support has been ended. And if you're using any browser for which the support is running, then make sure that you always keep them updated. Now, similarly, like browser, you also need to avoid the unreliable browser extension. Now, the browser extension are really of great use to us, but not all of them. And so you need to be careful while installing any kind of extension. For example, Adblock Plus, which is started out great, but then launched its own ad network. So yes, they are selling the advertisement now that basically depend on the user that what exactly they are doing, what kind of interest they have. And this all are done by collecting the user information. So if you really need an ad blocker, then you can go with the uBlock origin that I would recommend you. And so like the ad blocker extension, the shopping extensions are another culprit. Now, many people uh, who do a lot of shopping, they go with many kind of shopping extensions so that they can get a better deal. But have you ever noticed that whenever you check out on any kind of shopping website, suddenly a pop up comes up and they say they found a better and a cheaper deal for you on any other website that basically clearly indicate that they are collecting your information 
uh, that can also be including your card information, your address or other information that you enter on the shopping website. So keep in mind guys, yes, the extension are really useful. They can give you a lot of perks, but do a proper research that which extension that you are going to use. Uh, kindly Google them, read their reviews. And then if you are satisfied, then only you should go ahead and start using them. All right, now let's move to the next category that is the pirated software. Now the pirated software, of course, allow you to use the paid application games or many kind of videos and movies for absolutely free. But my friend, nothing is free here. And of course, there is a huge risk of Trojan keyloggers and the ransomware with these kind of pirated software. Now, let me give you some example here. If you want to enjoy the MS Office and if you don't want to buy it, then you visit many kind of website or use many kind of a pirated tool to get the activated copy of this Microsoft Office and so on. If you want to enjoy any kind of paid games, you visit many kind of websites, search for it and then finally download the crack version of these kind of a games. But I can bet that nobody look into those files that what exactly it contain. It can contain the keylogger. It can contain some kind of malware that can compromise your detail, your information that can hack your device and so on. There are many risks included. So if I talk about the solution, if you want to really enjoy the MS Office, there are many free alternatives like the LibreOffice. If you want to enjoy many kind of games, then there are many kind of tricks. There are many kind of giveaways that you can look into the Steam or Epic game. So there are the solutions. There are the alternative. Kindly go with them instead of going with this kind of pirated software. And now the last and not the least is the uTorrent. Now, first, let me clarify that uTorrent itself doesn't contain any virus or malware. But as its connection works peer to peer, there is no guarantee of the files you have downloading from it. And so on, there are tons of report from the people that they got hacked after downloading any kind of file, application, game or movies through the torrent website. And even according to the PC world, the uTorrent quietly install a cryptocurrency miner on the user computer. And trust me guys, if you do a proper research, go through with all these articles and blog, you will get to know that there are many victims who are still crying. They have lost all their information. They have lost the banking information. Their money was being stolen. Their information were being stolen. And this is the main reason I'm creating this video so that I can try my best to avoid you to install these kind of application that can compromise your detail, that can compromise your information or even they can hack your data. So be safe, avoid this application. And that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this information useful. If yes, please hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.